Hey guys, well, oh lord, I look a little crazy. It's auto adjusting. So I got this new mount for my car and I'm kind of loving it. I don't know if I'll be able to like drive and vlog. If so, the game just changed. I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, but I just went to the nail salon and oh my god, they were packed. So packed and you're required to wear a, um, I haven't obviously gotten ready so I wore a hat. Um, you're required to wear a mask and so it was like interesting to see people come in and like state their opinions on the masks and then they put them on um, and then there were a few people who like came in with the masks and a few people who were like hey Mariah and I was like I can't see who you are you have a mask on and I don't have my glasses on um, but I it feels good to go to the nail salon it feels good to like go back and go to the nail salon and I did see something on Instagram that said some nail salons like prices were inflated ours are not here um, I don't know if that's like by choice I don't know but um he ripped my freaking cuticles to pieces okay it is like such a bright day I'm not sure it's gonna work vlogging so you guys are gonna have to be overexposed I'm sorry um but ugh, I hate this but he like ripped my cuticles to pieces because they were um, they're so dry already and so like if you just touch my cuticles they just completely shred but got number is this gonna focus I don't know if you guys can see got number 13 I took a picture of it of the superstar gel or dip they have gel and dip so the superstar brand number 13 but now I'm gonna go to Starbucks because we are out of creamer at my house. We're out of a lot of stuff and I have a grocery pickup today at two. So I gotta go to Starbucks and be a basic bitch today. Get my nails done, get a Starbucks. It's 11.30 so I can't really, I can't consume anything over 50 calories because I can't eat till 12. Okay, what is it called? Vanilla Sweet Cream Cold Brew. Oh, God, no. Okay, I'm gonna get a Nitro Cold Brew with Sweet Cream Grande. It's only 70 calories, which isn't terrible. You're not supposed to, when you do intermittent fasting, go over 50 calories. And um, it's 11.30, so it's not the big deal. And I actually have been getting a lot of questions about intermittent fasting. Um, by the way, this thing holds while I'm driving, which is freaking fabulous. So I've been getting a lot of questions about intermittent fasting and all of that stuff. Um, I just recommend honestly, like one, ask your doctor. Cause I know that like certain people, like if you have liver disease or liver issues of any kind, oh, I don't think I'm in the right lane. No, I am. Um, I don't think you're supposed to intermittent fast. Obviously if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you're not supposed to fast lots of different things but I recommend talking to your doctor about it I also recommend googling or like looking on Pinterest um, it's super easy it's actually like a lifestyle change for me um, it has not been it was like not an adjustment at all I told you guys recently in a video I think it was like maybe on my vlog channel um, that the biggest thing with intermittent fasting was just picking the time um, you can pick an intermittent intermittent fasting window based on what time works for you for you and then also like your body type like there's if you, if you have a certain body type you're supposed to like pick a certain window but there's some of them that like you're only supposed to eat for like four hours a day and then 20 hours you're supposed to fast and I'm like isn't that similar to like starving yourself in a way like eh. um, I do the 16 8 so I don't eat until 12 o'clock and then I eat I'm done eating by 8 but I've done it before a different way where I started eating at 11 and then I was um, I finished and needed to be done eating for the day by 7 o'clock and that just wasn't working with like working out and all that stuff so the 8 o'clock works perfect with my husband's schedule um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing and you can eat, drink anything that is under 50 calories before your intermittent fasting window opens. So, um, or I guess closes. So like basically from the hours of 8 p.m. to 12 the next day, I can eat anything under 50 calories. 
So I hope that makes sense. I'm kind of just rambling. I'm watching this car. I just pulled up. We don't have like a pull through, like drive through Starbucks. We only have, oh, oh, oh. We only have a um, like in store. So I gotta go in store. So, okay. I'm gonna go get my coffee. And then I'll be back. Okay. God, she was no help. So I went to one of the Starbucks, like, inside of Ingalls and they have the like privacy screen in between you and them and then she was wearing a mask there were all these machines going because she's in this tiny little thing and I was like I told her my order and she was like we don't have that and I was like what she was like we're out of cold brew and I was like what like she was just being quiet on purpose like you could tell she was doing it on purpose and then she just kind of like stared at me and I was like okay I guess I'll get something else I don't even know what I ordered which kind of makes me bummed. There's not even a sticker on it or anything, but it's hot. Yeah. So that's my Starbucks story. Getting back to normal. Oh, holy crap, what is this? I need to remember what this is. Oh. I'm gonna look it up. I know it wasn't low calorie. I saw it on there. It's like 150, I think. Hold on. Hold the phone. These people are walking by looking at me talk to myself on my camera. You guys don't judge me. I'm talking to my online friends, okay? Okay, I got a grande flat white with almond milk. That's what it is. Uh, 16 ounces, 150 calories, which isn't the worst. It's not the best. So now I'm going to drive home, and I jammed my music on the drive home. So um, I'm going to go. Oh, my husband's calling me. Yes, my love. Hey, babe. Have you left angles yet? Okay, guys. So I'm home. Um, slight change of plans. So I have, first, first of all, four million and nine things to do today. Let me put you guys over here so that you don't get all distracted by the fan. Um, so, okay. Got a lot of stuff to do today for my for work. Um, I was going to take my car, like as soon as I got home, I was gonna self tan, take my car to, um, I need to like clean out the inside, I need to, it needs a bath, you know, the whole nine. And then when Sam got home from playing soccer, we were gonna take his car to do the same thing. Well, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Tomorrow I was gonna do blog pictures. So it looks like today I'm doing blog pictures. It's just, my whole day just kinda got shuffled. So I'm a little bit frazzled. But look at this. I talked about this on my Instagram stories this morning. So these are my favorite shorts. I actually found them. Um, I forgot I have them in an eight, so they do not fit me. Also look at that. See that? We are getting there, man. We're getting there. Um, but these just like, they don't fit me anymore because I'm getting there. So it's a little bit bumming out, like I'm a little bummed out about it, but it's okay because I have abs forming and I will take the abs over fitted shorts any day. I can buy new shorts. I can't buy abs, you know? Like that's not something I get to just like go to the Target shop and be like, oh, I'll take three, five. Um, so I have to kind of figure out what I'm going to do now. I think we have a grocery pickup at two. Everything really is getting back to normal here because I just found out that they literally had to substitute one item and it was actually not even a major item. It was, um, the stuff that we use to clean our toilets. I was like, yeah, you can substitute that. You get me everything else. That's fine. So, um, it's, it's actually really getting back to normal here, which is good, but I got to go figure out what the heck I'm doing today. How this day is going to go. <laughs> I think I need to get ready and also self tan. I don't know. So we'll see, but I think I'm gonna bring you guys along um, as best as I can. Okay, also, I don't know if I've ever mentioned, I've mentioned it on the vlog too. I can't remember. I'm taking Modair. I've mentioned this. I don't know. I'll link the, um, I will link the vlog post, no, the YouTube video where I talk about it um, in the description bar below. But I forgot to take it this morning. You're usually supposed to take it for you. But like anything else in your body um but i forgot this is the coconut lime trim the best also i think it's just gonna be me today on the vlog you're supposed to take a tablespoon of each a day um because sam is playing soccer and i don't know when he's gonna come home that 
literally, I can't remember which kind, which Starburst. Maybe it's a Skittle. I think it's a Skittle. I can't remember which Skittle that tastes like because they don't have a coconut lime Skittle. But it tastes, oh, it's so good. And this is the Trim Life or Madeira Life. I'm supposed to take a tablespoon. I usually take an actual like tablespoon measuring thing, but this will work for today. Okay, self tanning. And then I'm gonna eat my lunch. It's 12.30 now. Lord, I don't know how this day is gonna go. Also, my Botox set in yesterday. That's me giving it everything I've got. Everything I've got to raise them eyebrows. So, I've officially not had any more tension headaches. They, they did come back, um, I wanna say it was like, about three weeks ago, I started getting tension head. My Botox wore off. Cause I mean, I have a pretty fast metabolism still and your metabolism is what like eats away at the Botox. Um, I got my first round of Botox in February. It wore off, I wanna say like early May was when I really noticed it was gone, but the tension headaches didn't come back until the end of May. So finally when I got my Botox, oh, I was like, I, I just need the headaches gone and it helped so much. Um, so, one thing I noticed this time versus the last time, and this was only my second time getting Botox, it like set a lot faster this time. So much faster. And also it took the same number of units, but I feel like if it's even possible, like my skin looks better. I don't know, I think it's just because like I've already had Botox once, my my skin kind of knew what to do, um, or my face kind of knew what to do, so it has helped a ton. But um, it, it just, it worked a lot, and it does help with my tension headaches. My tension headaches are caused from, oh no, I can still do that a little bit, okay. Not fully there yet. It's been a week today, and he says it's like two weeks before it sets. Um, and that was when it set last time, it was like right at two weeks that it really set. Um, but looking at the computer all day doing this is what causes the tension headaches and so not having the ability to do that is what makes the headaches go away if that makes sense so it's like nothing that's causing the headaches but me like i'm causing my own headaches without realizing it god i'm being basic today talking about my botox and my collagen and my nails and my starbucks somewhere my father-in-law is probably dying right now that i'm drinking starbucks and just being basic so it's the next day. I just got done filming an Old Navy try on haul and this cute little old man sitting outside the restaurants watching me film myself. And he's like, probably like, what the crap is that girl doing? <laughs> so I went and did an in-store try on haul today and man, did it feel good. I was still very anxiety ridden. Like I have a mask, I've got my Lysol so that I can like spray it in the, um, dressing room and like I could take my mask off after a few seconds and even then like it just still like oh I don't know and there's so many mixed things on the mask I'm just like <laughs> I'm a little stressed out okay but it felt good to get out these guys are legitimately like talking to each other like what is this girl doing but it's okay so it felt good to get out I'm gonna go home now though I forgot to bring a cereal bar and it is now time for me to eat and I haven't had anything to eat today except for coffee so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get going but I wanted to just check in and tell you guys like things are really getting back to normal here and it feels so good and I feel like at first when we got back out no one was respectful of the guidelines like no one stayed six feet apart no one wore masks and I feel like now that we've been out a little bit longer I'm seeing more masks and I'm also seeing a lot more people be very respectful of other people's distance so um, that's always a good thing but I'm gonna go ahead I guess I could actually be driving and telling you guys this um, I'm gonna go ahead though and get driving home I got a lot to do today um, so I'm not quite sure what I'll be able to vlog probably gonna vlog dinner we're doing pork chops tonight again I like cannot get enough pork chops um, and I'm not quite sure what else so I guess I'll check in and actually just a few hours later <laughs> in the same like I'm in my car still but we just got done well I got done um, washing my car at one of those like self-service places um, and if you can see like right here there's water blowing that's because Sam is right behind me so I don't know if I'm gonna wait for him or not um it took about like 30 minutes 
to get my car clean. I just, I don't, I don't know. I have, we have a gravel driveway, so like the inside of my car is always gross. Like the mats, I have protectors over the mats. Um, I have protectors over the mats. Those had to be vacuumed, the mats had to be vacuumed, the car had to be vacuumed. It just, it, we have literally been here for so long. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but, okay, so I went home, ate a little unhealthy for lunch. Some leftovers so what I'm probably gonna do is go home get the vlog up and then I was gonna go on a run today so I think I'm still gonna do that especially since I ate unhealthy but that's gonna be later because it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now and it is 86 degrees like I am NOT running in 86 degree weather so I'll wait for tonight um, but yeah that's really it I think I'm actually not gonna wait on Sam he takes his sweet time with the car Hey guys, it's been a few hours. I am watching this vlog back and I'm like, why do my eyebrows look so much more intense on video than they do in person? I always get comments on that. But also I always get comments on people telling me to stop overlining them. I say this a lot. I don't overline them. It's just like my hair is red. So like half of my eyebrow hairs are blonde and quarantine forced me to grow them out and I'm digging it. But they look so crazy on camera. Oh well. So I am old. Oh, this hurts. So I'm done for the night. Go below, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later this week.